All right, last servant that came out with um, Lost Belt 6.5 is Roland, Mr. Naked himself. He is basically gray from fairy tale, except now he's a swordsman. But yeah, the whole joke is that in El Stolfo's interlude, like Roland literally could not keep his clothes on. I was like flashing people, which reminds me of gray from fairy tale. Oh, when we look at his hits, uh, and like stats 0.83 which is pretty good considering like the number of hits he has on his arts and quick card um his muscle card has three hits on it oh, excuse me uh extra attack will actually gen a good amount of mp so uh, like as always arts quick arts is gonna get you the most um but arts buster arts would not is not a huge downgrade um especially if you get a crit on the second arts um you probably buster arts art should be fine though it should be fine with how high his mp uh charges um all right first skill and when you do the story mission for him this fucking skill is incredible like no cap i think this is one of the best defensive skills in the fucking game why because it gives you invincibility and 100 percent defense for one turn like both of them they're not hit based they're one turn um and it also gives like a slight battery 20 percent um this is literally your enemies literally need to have pierce defense and pierce invi invincibility to do damage to you with this skill because i used it I, like you have to use him in a fight against bradamante when it's like 4v4 or they have three or four enemies bradamante like just pure, straight up pierce defense and this man wasn't fucking taking damage like he had this skill up and he just wasn't fucking taking damage i thought that um, the way defense percentage worked in this game was 100% cut it down in half. No. 100% defense means you don't take damage. So. He is off to a really good start for being a servant that you use in a boss fight. Because usually bosses either have pierce defense or they have pierce invincibility. They usually don't have both. Holmes is like literally gives your team pierce invincibility and pierce defense on his mp mash's black barrel does that for her but the pierce defense lasts for three turns and the pierce invincibility i believe only lasts for one um yeah second skill buster buff for three turns 30 percent it has a cleanse here's the demerit charm resistance this is not gonna come up except for like unless you bring him to fight Kama. Which don't do it. Just don't bring him to fight Kama. Easy. Uh and the last part about this skill is removes all enemy buffs. Not this isn't target this isn't targeting. This is all enemy buffs are wiped clean on a skill. So something like the Nightingale challenge quest where you're fighting three different enemies, like it was Cha-Cha and Nightingale and like Lancer Med uh, Medusa. It's like, boom. Is that you clean this like, as long as the buffs can be, as long as the buffs can be removed, they will be removed. Fairly strong. Uh, that's fairly strong. His kit's already looking pretty good. Um, and his last skill, attention, party, all attack. Fuck is an all offend.
Oh, it's just an elephant. Elephant, an elephant, uh, obsolete. An ancient horn made of ivory, so an elephant. I mean, an elephant tusk. Or an elephant. The fuck does this even mean? No, I, no, no I'm like 99% sure Alstoffel is the one that fucking named me skills. Would not fucking surprise me if Alstoffel was naming me st skills. Adamantine body. Bitter tears from, from a love of love. I'm pretty sure Alstoffel is fucking naming this shit. Anyway, drops up to 20 stars. Crit star absorption, 10% gauge, and it is on a three turn cooldown. The 500 damage, that's fucking nothing. Holy shit. I like, I don't, you don't see skills go down this low. That doesn't fucking happen. But you level this, this is a good, this is a fucking star bomb every three turns. And you get a battery too, and star weight. Or a saber. Okay, so a pen skills. He has thirty percent on total on his skills. Get the mana loading. Good. He has anti rider. Go kick out Stallfull's ass with him. Come to the MP. He has ignore invincibility. And then he increases attack and crit damage. So the more you spam this MP, the more damage his face cards are gonna do. Also his MP, but I'm not worried about that. He can double buff himself. Um, this is literally what you want for a boss killing serpent, like th these type of skills. Um. Yeah, like, I can't, like, why can I really shit talk about this? And this, this is a CE too. Eight stars every turn, an MP gain. That's a better version of 2030. I mean, less stars, but like MP gain for the party? You're using him with like double coin and Skya, who's not gonna get buff his MP gain? Like, I don't know for me, actually a contention for not using a, um, not using a full, um, what is it? Oh, for not using a 50% CE, because this skill, if you go Buster Arts Arts, like, or MP Arts Arts, um, you will gen a good amount of MP back. You won't have many stars, but you'll get MP back. Roland literally can give himself the stars when he needs it. Like, plus, if you use him with Koi and Skaya, you can either space out 20 stars every single fucking turn, which means, like, and star weight. Like, basically, basically with that setup, you're, you are guaranteed to do crits every single turn as long as you have his cards I think if this was on a higher cooldown I would definitely knock down some points but this being on such a short cooldown I really can't complain. um oh right I didn't get to passive skills but magic resist because he's a saber and then writing skill to make this one quick card actually do something The one, th the one thing I want to say I'm disappointed, and this is more of a meme, is that they didn't make, um, they didn't show Roland's butt cheeks, and it's not because I'm gay, it's for gender equality. Bradamante gets to show her butt cheeks with the MP. Do something for the ladies that play this game. Give them Roland's butt cheeks. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Peace, guys.